Hey, everybody. Uh, so my name is Matt, and I am from Pinata. We are a company leveraging IPFS, or the Interplanetary File System, to help a lot of companies solve a lot of problems they're experiencing in the Web3 space. So we've learned a lot in the past year we've been working, and we figured it'd be helpful to describe a little bit of the use cases that we're seeing our customers and what they're encountering when they're using IPFS to build in their applications. So a little bit of a background. The way that we store and move data on the internet is outdated. Uh, we've progressed a lot since the early days of the internet, and we've, ha we've had some lessons, and we've also forgotten some lessons. So we currently rely on a cloud infrastructure that ignores the advantages of peer-to-peer -peer technologies. In the early days of the web, peer-to-peer -peer technologies were abundantly used. They provided a way that was efficient, that can move content between users of a network. But as the web grew, centralized cloud computing models became much more prevalent. They provided an easier way to deploy web infrastructure, so companies had to choose whether they wanted to use the ease provided by a cloud infrastructure model, or whether they wanted to leverage the benefits of peer-to-peer -peer technology. Unsurprisingly, many companies chose the path that made things easier, and chose the route of the centralized clouds. But what if we could combine the best of the cloud and still get the benefits of peer-to-peer -peer technology? And what I mean by this is making peer-to-peer -peer technology as easy as using modern cloud infrastructure. We can totally do this. So um, to do this, Pinata uses IPFS. It's a new, powerful, and very feature-rich peer-to-peer technology. Uh, IPFS is usable on almost any device. It's incredibly powerful in that, in that aspect. It lets companies store, but also move data intelligently across servers, desktops, mobile devices, and even IoT devices. So IPFS does this, and it provides data integrity through what's called native immutability. This means that applications can know with absolute certainty that the data they're working with has not been tampered. OK, so before explaining why apps are leveraging this movement of data and data integrity uh, with Pinata, we need to describe how these apps are set up and why they're integrating with us. So every use case is a little bit different. And luckily, IPFS is super extensible in that respect. Our users are all building with their own unique uh, IPFS patterns, and they're doing things in their own unique way. But they all have one thing in common. They need stability, and they need speed. This is where Pinata helps. Developers can leverage the benefits of peer-to-peer -peer technology without having to deal with the complexities of developing and maintaining their own custom infrastructure. We make peer-to-peer -peer easy. Okay, so now that we know kind of what users are doing and that they have such different use cases, uh, let's learn through what they've built. Here's some of the most prevalent ways that companies on our platform are leveraging the benefits of IPFS. Uh, a common use case is peer-to-peer -peer messaging. So IPFS allows for new, novel ways of securely communicating across the web. Developers use Pinata to make sure their users' messages are always available for retrieval when the users need it most. Another use case is website hosting. This is, be uh, this is becoming more prevalent and is such a cool use case. Uh, you can host websites on IPFS in a way that means that the content users are retrieving from that website is verifiable and it's cryptographically verifiable. A little bit of buzzwords there that we all like. Uh, <laughs> so uh, what this means is that users can visit a website and know that the data they're retrieving from that website is what they're expecting to get, and that they're not being subjected to a man-in-the-middle attack. Through our partnership with Cloudflare, we've made sure that websites on IPFS are both stable and fast. Lastly, uh, content delivery. This is a super important use case of IPFS and is one of the use cases we're most passionate about. IPFS allows companies to build their own on-demand or elastic CDN. So when users and applications retrieve content on IPFS, they become providers of that content. This means that the next user that needs that data is going to get it faster. And because this content is being distributed by the users themselves, content providers can realize the modern benefits of CDNs without the massive, massive cost associated with using them. This organic, user-driven CDN approach eliminates a massive capital barrier that many startups in today's world face when trying to scale their platforms. Okay, 
So for users that are looking to sign up for Pinata, uh, you can do it pretty easily. Just search Pinata IPFS, and you'll be taken to our website. Uh, pretty easy to sign it up. Just sign up for free. And what this requires is just putting in your email address. Um, yeah, so I don't have a fake email address on me right now, and we require our users to sign up and verify their email address, so we're going to pretend that I'm actually signing up for the platform when I'm really just going to be logging in with my own account. So we'll log in. OK. So now we're in the Pinata platform. We found that the most effective way to get our users involved with our ecosystem is to take them straight to the documentation. Most of our customers are going to be developers. So it makes sense to send them to the place that they're probably going to care about the most. Uh, here we talk about what you do with your API key, how you get connected with the API, test to make sure things are working correctly. And we provide uh, extensive documentation on how to do this. You can do it through Postman, which is a common uh, UI uh, application that developers use to test out REST APIs. And then we also provide JavaScript examples. Uh, this is a pattern that's repeated throughout our documentation. And if you don't want to use the API itself, we also provide an SDK that you can integrate into your Node.js applications. OK. So surprisingly, a lot of people using our platform are also not developers. They're people wanting to try out IPFS for the first time. Um, Maybe they've learned, hey, I can host a website on IPFS. That sounds like fun, but I'm not a developer. So we provide an easy way to do that. We have an upload section of the website where you can come in and you can upload files. You can upload directories, which is what people use when they want to host websites. Um, and also, for those of you that are developers that are hosting stuff on IPFS and you don't really want to go through the API to get us to save your content, we allow you to just provide us a hash and then we'll grab it for you. And you can see the progress of that uh, as things progress. So what happens when we upload stuff? We also have what's called a pin explorer. Uh, it's a bunch of test demo stuff here. But this allows our users to see what they've pinned and have kind of a, an overview of what they're all using within their application. They can see the total amount of data they've stored with us, the total amount of pins. Uh, they can see the size of their individual files. And we also provide a gateway that allows users to uh, quickly view that content. So say I have a lovely photo of pinatas in a pasture. I want to show it to my friends. I can quickly do that by clicking on the gateway link. Uh, we can quickly allow users to delete data as well. Let's say I want to remove that pinata pasture picture. I can remove it. It'll be successfully unpinned from our nodes. And now you are no longer being charged for us storing that data. We charge our users based on a familiar cloud model, which means that you're going to be prorated on what you store. If you only want to store things for a day, that's OK. You can store it for a day, delete it, and you'll only be charged for the amount of data that you've stored on that given day. Uh, you can search for stuff. You can do all sorts of fun features. I won't get into that. If you want to learn more about it, I'd recommend just checking out the website yourself. Um, but that's kind of a quick process of how to use Pinata. So we've also seen apps focus on the immutability aspect of IPFS. Blockchain applications are leveraging IPFS in mass. Blockchains are really good at timestamping data, but they're really bad at timestamping a lot of data. Storing one photo on a blockchain would cost thousands of dollars, and it's not really possible to do <laughs> all at once. So how do you get around this? With IPFS, you can leverage the immutable tamper-proof nature and how IPFS signs its content to basically timestamp content without actually putting all of that content on the blockchain itself. Blockchain applications are able to use IPFS as a data storage layer that can scale their applications to near infinite amounts of data storage. Some of the most powerful use cases we've seen here involve using IPFS to create what's known as a layer two for modern blockchains. This helps blockchains overcome many of the scalability features that they're currently facing and helps drive usability and user experience in the blockchain space. Uh, next, scientific data. So scientific communities create a lot of data, and it all needs to be recorded. But most importantly, 
This data needs to be verifiable, verifiable and also it needs to be shared amongst the scientific community. Applications are being built that allow scientific collaborators to share their data with each other throughout the world in a way that ensures data integrity, something that's crucial to the scientific community. So I haven't mentioned uh, one of the most valuable features of IPFS. A side effect of the way that IPFS handles data is that when data is repeated, it doesn't take up more disk space. What this means is that with IoT devices, this becomes really powerful because IoT readings often consist of thousands to millions of records that are often repeated. Applications using IPFS can reduce their storage requirements down to a fraction of what was previously required. So these are some of the most interesting use cases we've seen from users building on our platform today, and we're excited to see what they continue to build in the future. So that being said, come build with us at pinata.cloud. We're excited to have you as a customer.